this is a guitar that recently came in. Um, boy, it, it really sounds amazing. I'm 66. I've been playing guitar since I was seven or eight, and I've owned a lot of guitars, high end, low end, medium end, made in Japan, made in Spain, made in Germany, you know, made in USA by German luthiers, the whole gamut. I've owned a lot of nylon strings and guitars in general. This guitar has an unbelievable mid-range. It, it's got a really high-end sound. It doesn't have any markings on it. It could be an old Yari. It could be an old guitar by an old luthier. I, I kind of get the vibe. It's from the 30s, 40s, 50s. It's hard to say, um, but it really has a sound, uh, and it really has been waking up lately. I have a feeling it hasn't been played for years, but it just has a tremendous resonance. Um, really a special guitar so I don't know I'd really like to keep this one I always say that but it's hard for me to let great guitars go and I'm, I'm really into nylon string right now but uh, this really has a sound you can see by the tuners they look like they have yellowed so maybe they're ivory you know but uh, it just sounds and it's got the, t the flamenco you know tapping plate gulpy or whatever it's called anyway uh, stretching out but yeah I recently kept this little part here and I'm just using a hundred dollars VMQ3 folks about this tone. So I just wanted to share the tone. And I'm playing in a flamenco tuning uh, where I make the F sharp uh, Make the G an F sharp and make the low E a D. I just want to share the tone. right now but man this thing sounds good I wish you could hear it from my point of view said I really want to keep this guitar because it's it's seriously one of the best sounding guitars I've ever owned it just has such a beautiful mid-range with kind of a pop in the mid bass treble and uh, it was really great mid bass and that's where all the magic is folks is mid bass and mids and I mean sure bass and treble is important but a lot of times bass on any acoustic guitar just gets so thuddy it's almost like it doesn't exist you know it doesn't have clarity and bloom and overtones so the mid bass is so important, but yeah, the mid bass and mids on this and treble and kind of a treble mid bass pop, just incredible, really has a tone.
love getting a guitar though in the mail that hasn't been played in years and then I when I first played it you know it was kind of kind of asleep you know and I swear to God within probably half an hour it started waking up and it's still waking up and it's starting to really sound beautiful and it's barely waking up I think it's going to even sound better I can't imagine this guitar in another 30 40 hours but uh yeah this is this is a really nice instrument <laughs> Anyway, mystery guitar. I mean, you can put your ear to the side of the guitar and play a chord, and it just sounds like wood that's like a feather vibrating. It just is it's, it's unbelievable. I know, I get excited about my guitars, but um, I kind of have a knack for attracting and finding rare stuff, and this, this, this is... This is one of the best sounding, you know, nylon strings, uh, and it appears to be a flamenco guitar I've ever owned. It looks old as hell. It's got some really interesting figure on the back, as you can probably see, and uh, it just sounds incredible, you know. Like I said, it's really hard to tell who made it. It could be an old Yari, it could be an old made in Japan, it could be an old Washburn, it's, it could be an old guitar by an old maker in Andalusia, Spain. It's really hard to say, but. Whoever made this guitar knew what they were doing. There's no... I'm going to stop right there. All right, folks, take care. Mystery old flamenco guitar sounds unfreaking believable.